Good day, beautiful people. Hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, um, hope this day is filled with a little bit of joy, a little bit of happiness, a little bit of laughter, a little bit of everything good. I am presently in a small town um, in Guatemala. Uh, Guatemala is in Central America. And... Um, in a small little town called um, Antigua, which is, if you translate it, means old, so old Guatemala. It's about, I would say, maybe about an hour uh, and a few minutes out from the capital city of Guatemala City. I'm here just um, taking a break, shutting down the noise, um, and hearing myself think. Uh, sometimes you need to take a little bit of a break outside of your usual routine in order sometimes to actually hear yourself think, hear your thoughts. So I am going to, I think at the end of this, I'll, I'll show you folks um, a little bit of the town so you can see it. But I was going through some of my <laughs> daily royal stuff and came across this um, article um, written by Emma... Guinness. It's called Prince Andrew and Meghan Markle, UK's least favorite royals, says poll. Now, I don't know where the poll or who took the poll or, you know, Meredith does a great, Meredith Constance does a great job at um, digging deep in, into these things and where the where the poll came from or who did the poll or, or all that kind of stuff. I, I unfortunately... Um, we'll not be doing that. I'll leave that to the expertise of Meredith if she decides to tackle this one at all. But I was planning to sort of summarize um, the article for you folks, um, well, for us. But I thought um, it's a quick read. Why not read the entire thing? Actually, maybe, maybe I'll summarize it. Yeah, I think that might be better use of our time. Um I'm changing my mind again. Maybe I'll just read it. Yes, let's, I'm just going to read it. So it says here, They may no longer be referred to as HRH, but Prince Andrew and Meghan Markle can still claim the title of being the UK's least favorite royals a new poll has found. According to the recent survey, the disgraced Duke of York, whose car crash nightline interview in now it in now subject to not one but two separate TV dramas has seen in a negative light by eighty six percent of respondents. His lowly rank was followed by the Duchess of Sussex, whose new wellness brand is also unlikely to appeal to the sixty four percent of Britons who admitted holding negative views towards her. Once again, my question here. Who conducted the poll and how many people were polled or asked the question? What was the question asked? Their plunge in popularity comes in stark contrast to the princess of Prince and Princess of Wales, who both topped the poll respectively, having earned the nation's adm admiration for their bravery in handling Kate's cancer diagnosis. Really? Did they handle that really well? Do we actually think they did? Who conducted the poll and what was the question asked? Because <laughs> we all know, we all know that the rollout of that cancer diagnosis and where is Kate and all of that and photoshopping pictures and videos that we're not quite sure whether it's AI created, AI created, sorry, or not. Uh, maybe these people were in a cave when they asked them this question or whatever question they asked them. So let's continue on here. Andrew's lack of popularity follows his association with convicted <coughs> pedophile. Um, am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I'm not sure. Okay. Um, Jeffrey Ep Epstein uh, which saw his step away from public duties four years ago. In January 2022, he was stripped of his HRH title after he was accused of sexual assault by, sorry, accused of SA by Virginia Gaff, 
a victim of Epstein. He has vehemently and continuously denied these claims. Prince Andrew was disgraced following his association with Jeffrey Epstein. The following month, Andrew reached a multi-million pound out-of-court settlement with Ms. Gaffrey, which included damages and a donation to her charity in support of victims' rights. In a statement confirming this settlement, Andrew said he regrets his association with Epstein and commends the bravery of Ms. Gaffrey and other survivors in standing up for themselves and others. Okay, folks, do you see the irony in this? So he is paying her off, or sorry, Queen Elizabeth, the, the, his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, paid off the victim, allegedly, and oh, this is not even allegedly, this actually happened, right? But he makes a statement about... Do, do, do you folks see what I'm getting at here? The Duchess of Sussex, meanwhile, was deemed the second most unpopular royal. The former actress became a controversial figure after she and her husband, Prince Harry, chose to leave the firm, citing allegations of racism from within the family and wider media intrusion. Harry did not emerge favorably from the poll either, with 61% of respondents expressing a negative view of the king's youngest son. The Princess of Wales emerged as the UK favorite royal, with 76% of respondents admitting they saw her in a positive light. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle revealed all about their time in the firm in a tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey. When the heck will they stop referring to the Oprah Winfrey interview? Like, it's going to be like 70 years from now, and it'll be, and the Oprah Winfrey interview is ready. Oh, shush. This comes following the Kate's recent uh, health struggles, which began when she initially stepped back from public duties in January for planned abdominal surgery. Oh, yeah, that, that, we know all about that. It was planned, nothing you know, weird and, 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 and suspicious, but any of that, none of it, none of it, none of it at all. While she was scheduled to return after Easter, oh yeah, yeah, remember that Easter return? Hmm, what happened to that? Last month, she revealed she is battling cancer and will not return to her duties until she is cleared to do so by her medical team. Good for her, medical team, good. Um, can we see the medical team? Can one of them come out and speak to that? Can, you know, some experts in who are treating her, can she appear live on TV or something? I don't know. Just, just questions being asked here. Her cancer diagnosis came just months after King Charles has, as, annou as announced in February, in February. The King's cancer was discovered following a routine procedure to treat an enlarged prostate in January. He emerged in a mostly favorable light in the poll, with 63% of respondents saying they hold a positive view of the monarch. The king was beaten in his literal popularity contest by his younger sister, Princess Anne, who 71% of respondents said they saw in a positive light. Sorry, I don't mean to read it like in contempt here. Um, the second most popular royal, who was just 3% less um, favored than the Princess of Wales, is Prince William. Willie, who was seen positively by 73% of respondents. The poll comes amid a tumultuous term, term, time for the royal family, who have been rocked by the King and Princess of Wales cancer diagnosis. This has essentially seen two of the most senior members of the royal, royal of the family thrown out of action. <laughs> okay, this is not funny. Um, members of the royal of the family thrown out of action while their spouses rally to support them and keep up the public duties. Yeah, they work so hard. In both cases, the type of cancer and its severity has not been disclosed. 
The crisis comes after King Charles revealed plans to slim down the monarchy in a bid to give the British public... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> the crisis comes after King Charles revealed plans to slim down the monarchy in a bid to give the British public good value for 